I'm Dave Carvajal. This is Thunder Wisdom and Insights with some of my favorite leaders on the planet. I think another failure, if I, on a more personal level, like I think earlier in my career, I probably was too afraid of failure. I think what was drilled into me in school, you know, as an engineering-oriented, uh, you know, person, an analyst, I I viewed my success as getting to the right answer and not making mistakes. And I think it took me a while in my career to get comfortable with failure as a necessary part, hopefully small failures, as a necessary part of the, the, the creative and building process. You know, there are stylistic differences and cultural differences across the generation, but I think what, what makes good people, uh, you know, in a workplace uh, is largely, I think, has not changed significantly, I would argue, I will argue. Um, I think simple problems or easy problems in a company can be solved by one person. Hard problems require people to work together. Well, if they're going to work with each other successfully, they need to have the ability to respect each other, they need to communicate well, and they have to have some shared goals. I think that is imminently possible, and I've seen it over and over again across generations. Um, so I, I think I put the commonality across generations of, of people who are effective in a workplace, you know, and to me that, that is the most important thing. And yeah, of course, then you get, you get into the, some of the stylistic differences and, you know, it's common today that you go into a meeting and everybody has some sort of a screen or a device in front of them. 15 years ago, that was considered uh, bad behavior because, you know, you could be doing something else instead of paying attention. But today, it's a way of paying attention. You know, people, maybe people are taking notes on their laptops, who knows? But, you know, so there, th those things I think are more superficial. Um, I think uh, for me, uh, on sort of on the precipice of my 50th birthday, you know, I, I love working with young people. For me, it's like very energizing. I remember there was a moment at Shutterstock. I won't go into the whole story, but let, 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 suffice it to say that we needed to get a hold of some Bitcoin. And all the 40-year-olds were looking around the table like, uh, I don't know how to do this. And of course, a 25-year-old at the company wound up producing the account and knew exactly how to navigate that world. And, you know, that to me is just, that's one plus one equals three, like. When you, when you have that diversity around you and you can tap into different generations.